When I was a little boy, I remember a commercial that tried to instill in kids the virtues of eating good foods. You may have seen it before. We are what you eat, from your head down to your feet. Things like meat and fish and eggs you need to build up muscle tissue. The song and commercial went into more depth, of course, but the essence of the message is right there in the first line. You are what you eat. I like to say that supply chains are the bones and muscles of an organization. So, like our own bodies, companies need to care for their muscles and bones by providing with healthy nutrients. For you and me, those nutrients come in the form of foods and drinks. But what do you feed the supply chain? You guessed it. To have a healthy supply chain, you need healthy supplies. Here's the fun part. Time to talk shopping. To remain consistent, efficient, and effective, supply chains need to buy high-quality materials and services. At companies, purchasing executives are essentially the company shoppers. They buy those materials and services. But in a lot of ways, we act as purchasing executives for our own lives, which means we've probably developed some purchasing skills of our own. Think about all the different types of purchases you'll likely make in your lifetime. Basic tangible requirements basic intangible services, purchases that require a significant amount of thought, purchases of professional services, contractual purchases, and of course, we make some purchases that are a lot less complicated and just plain fun. Now let's suppose you decided to outsource your purchasing to someone else. How would you feel if these folks made all your purchases? Hmm, I'm not sure we'd like that. But suppose you did have other people making purchases for you. As a customer, would you want them to buy you only the cheapest available items? <coughs> Looks like they bought the cheapest parts for that car. You get the point. A purchasing department's consideration should go well beyond cost to things like quality, delivery speed, and supplier flexibility. Look, low cost is important, but many other issues often need to be addressed before cost is considered. Purchasing at the corporate level is complex. Companies buy in large quantities from a varied selection of suppliers, and many of the suppliers may be located far away. That's why purchasing decisions are rarely made by a single individual. And those procurement specialists need to have excellent relationship, negotiation, and analytical skills. The success of the company and the satisfaction of your customers depend on them. Buying supplies and services is only the first step in the supply chain. But if you feed your supply chain garbage, it's tough to manufacture top products and services for your customers. So what have we learned? You are what you eat. You are what you negotiate. You are who you buy from. But more than that, you are dependent on your executives to understand the complex nature of corporate purchasing. And in the end, we once again find you're dependent on supply chain management. I mean, the management of the chain of supplies.